Hey folks, welcome to Sports Focus. I am your host, John McNeil. With me is Mr. Jeffrey McIntosh, Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles. How are you doing today? Repeat. Enough said. All right. Another team that's thinking about getting that championship back again is those Boston Red Sox. I just had to start off with the Red Sox because Boston has won over 80 games already. Mm. We're deep into August, and I don't see anyone in baseball stopping them. Maybe Houston, maybe the Yankees, but um, they got they won 80 games. They got as of now they over 85. They just beat up so, the Yankees in the series they had. So how many games the leader got on the Yankees? They got they were pushing nine, ten. Ooh. Hopefully, if you're a Yankee fan and if you're old enough, you can remember what back in '78, back Be in nice. August, Yankees had that big comeback against the Red Sox. But I don't know. This team is pretty good and they're playing very well. Hopefully, the Yankees just make the playoffs. I'm a Philly fan of my own self. So. Phillies. Yeah. Well, they're doing okay uh, as of now. So, but well, ain't nobody doing what the Red Sox is doing. They're killing it right now. Now, let's move to somebody else that's killing it. The Cam and Kelvin Benjamin little spat. It could have turned into something. Now, this is Cam Newton and Kelvin Benjamin during the good times when Kelvin Benjamin played for the Carolina Panthers. Look like they having a good time. Both of them smiling. Look like they. Calvin just caught a touchdown and also looked like Cam was telling him to give somebody the ball. That's what Cam does during these games. Now it turned into something. Basically, Calvin made some. That's Thomas Davis, by the way, in the white shirt. He's a linebacker. You see how much smaller he is to Cam and Benjamin, which is amazing since he's a linebacker and he's a quarterback, Cam Newton. He's bigger than everybody on the field. That's why he be well, getting Well, almost bigger than almost everybody in the field. Almost. Just There's about. Couple, just about. This just couple about. People. But, you know. But uh, they had uh, Calvin Benjamin said some things on social media, made like an interview, and said some negative things to, about Cam. Calling him not basically not intelligent to play quarterback position. Now, that's yeah. very, uh, I would say, a low thing. Because Lobo. Cam Newton is an African American, so now you're putting it out there that any other quarterback would have been good, but Cam. He's questioning his knowledge of the game and being a quarterback. You sure, he's not a Donald Trump fan. Whoa! All right, and you know, Cam, because they had a preseason game in Carolina and Buffalo. Calvin Benjamin has been traded to the Buffalo Bills, and they met. You know, Cam wanted to find out what was going on, so he approached Benjamin, went to put out the handshake, and no handshake in return. So uh, we don't know what was said. Only thing we can just view is the video of the incident and just come to our own conclusions. You know, I read lips. They should put one in there, but they had their backs turned, and so you really oh, okay. couldn't get the full, like, uh, but all we did see is Cam put out his hand for a handshake, and Calvin don't shake his hand, and Calvin, and Cam telling Thomas Davis, who was there, to get out of here. And they just started talking, so it was, it could have been something. Because, you know, I walk up on you and you're feeling a certain way towards me and things could have happened. Yeah, we're going to fight. That's the thing. If Was Cam wrong for walking up on Benjamin like that? No. I think he handled it like a man. Yeah, he did. He did confront him and say, you made your statement. Now I'm confronting me straight up. Like, what's going on? Benjamin had nothing to say. And reports said that Benjamin got uh, talked to by the organization. About this. Oh. So maybe that was another reason why he didn't want to say anything. I don't know. But in my opinion, Benjamin, he definitely looked, looked mm. weak. Yeah, yeah. He looked weak and Cam looked strong. Itch. Yeah, itch. itch. It rhymes with itch. If 
<laughs> you can imagine. It rhymes with it. My damn son. So, moving on. Amateur. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on, just focus on me for a minute. Yeah, please do. <laughs> please do. <laughs> moving on, there was some G's and some news about Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott. His father, Nathaniel Prescott, mm -hmm. was arrested. Really? Yes, for having a little bit of marijuana in his vehicle. It was a Class B misdemeanor, but they managed to bring him in and do all this. That's Dak Prescott's father? That's Dak Prescott's father. He don't look nothing like his father. He don't look nothing like him. He'd probably take more after his mother, Dak Prescott. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. I you know, I just, Dak is really right now starting to realize, like, okay, I am the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Any and everything is going to be brought up. But you know what, son? I'm not trying to think, but you know what this remind me of? I hate to say it. It reminds me of Jeremy Shockey and Eli Manning. Yeah? Yes. You remember Shockey was just running them off? Eli was like, eh. and Then the you know, Giants got rid of Shockey, and then Eli took over the team. It was Shockey and, oh, man, what's the twin? Barber. Tiki, Tiki. Tiki Barber. Tiki once they got rid of them, too, team started running fully. Maybe, maybe this would be the same thing. Yeah, you think so, huh? Yeah, I hope so. Well, I just have to ask. You go ahead. What in the hell did that have to do with Dak Prescott's father getting arrested for no, no, a little no, no, bit no. of marijuana? I'm not talking about the marijuana. I'm just talking about, in general, when I got rid of Dez. So you just said this is his team. You did bring that part. So why did you guys say bring that part? Say this is his team for. I was just making a statement to remind us something. Okay. Well, we're talking about that Dakota. I am not worried about the, that his father. His, his, I, I, that's what I was talking about. Oh, Dakota. Oh. I was talking about Dakota. That's his father name, Dakota. That's what that name is. Dakota. They call him Dak, but it's Dakota. He probably has the middle name and Prescott. What's the father name? Nathaniel Prescott. No middle name? I don't know. Oh. What's going on here? Just asking questions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dak is also in the news when a painter in Dallas uh, painted this on the mural the, uh, from the award-winning film Get Out. This was his interpretation of what Jerry Jones put out there about standing for the anthem, toe to the line, and a lot of people looked at Dak funny because he sort of echoed those same words that the owner, the plantation owner, Master Jones, put out there in the universe. And and, and this your was, boy, and yeah. this was a who, Mr. Brown? Yeah, Mr. Brown as well. I mean, but this was one artist's interpretation of you know what nice. how he felt it was a beautiful picture but yeah. they painted over it um they put this was in dallas this is a wall where anyone can just come and paint and this is what you know the guy oh, they got obsessed so they, they painted it yeah what, i wonder if the dallas company paid to get painted who knows Probably I mean, they put some shades on them and you know but it, <laughs> this was uh, I, I thought it was a, it was a good picture that was his opinion so this is America. You are entitled to your opinion. And that's what he thought. Okay. Moving on, the NFL is coming under this preseason because preseason football has started. And intense scrutiny with the lowering of the helmet. Um, they came up with this rule and believe in February or April earlier in the year. Yes. To try and bring safety mm. to the to the players. We can't have any more hits like that. We can't have any more hits like that where a player is you know lowering his head all the way to spearhead. That was the I believe the intent of this rule. But you got guys that's trying to just make a simple tackle. It's 
and they can't now because they're getting flags. Now, the thing with this particular rule that the NFL made is that if you, I guess you do it twice, you can get thrown out the game and get, or get suspended. So I think the- Someone needs to play flag football and be done with it. Something has to, uh, something has to change, like immediately. You cannot go into a season like now. They did fix the catch rule. Okay. They fixed the catch rule. You can't go into the season, I believe, with guys not pl- trying to tackle. If they now, I get this. He is like putting his yeah, head all the way down. Yeah, right. But if somebody got their head up and they throw the shoulder and they happen to hit the helmet, hit this person. What you gonna do? They better get into the the meeting room and try and figure this out pronto because I can see a lot of games being uh, affected. I see very long games. Somebody else said that um, longer games, games instead of the three hours or shorter, is going to be three and a half, four-hour games. But from what, there's no review. So it's not like they're going to review these things. This is like it's on the field bad on the calls. Call. It's going to be a lot of bad calls, too. Well, hopefully. The reason why I say it's going to be the thing because you're going to stop the game. Even though review is still going to be stopping the game. It's going to take at least about 30, 40 seconds out per game every time they make that call. they in bad shape. I think the NFL, they better get this fixed, and you're going to start that whole cycle again. Well, fans, by week like four and five, fans are going to be tired of watching a game and you're like, oh, uh, your favorite defender or whoever is getting kicked out the game because he's playing. So hopefully they can get that fixed. Now, to end our show, Mm. we have a jackass of the year candidate, Mr. One and Only himself, Jerry Jones. Now, you see in this particular picture, if you can see, uh, that's his son, Stephen Jones, and this is Jerry Jones. At the time, they're at the training camp in Dallas, and they have the national anthem. Big topic, right? Very big Jerry topic. Jerry Jones is following 45's lead, and they're doing the national anthem, and his son says that's what he's leaning over to him, and he says, hey, take off your hat. Now, Jeffrey McIntosh. Yes. What is one thing we all must do when we hear the national anthem? Remove your hat. Remove your hat. Unless you're in the military and you are outside, then you cannot remove your hat. So what happened? Why did Jerry Jones, he's a patriot, an American patriot who stands for the anthem, how come he did not remove his hat? He didn't have his um, toupee on. I didn't know he had one. I didn't know he was rocking like that. Maybe he got a big ball set. Somebody but hit him it in does, head? But it doesn't matter. You're an American. You're supposed to remove your hat. We're taught this in grade school in yeah. this country. He, um, somebody shaved his head? Somebody rolled on top of his head? He didn't want His somebody? son is telling him to take off his hat. I don't know what to tell you. Jackass of the year, Mr. Jerry Jones. And then when the NFL told him to be quiet about this anthem stuff, he he decided to say about Dak Prescott, hey, good job. But when they asked him about taking off your hat, not taking off your hat, no comment. That's Jerry Jones. Awesome job, Jerry. You get a thumbs up, buddy. And folks... (laughs) That's all it for this particular episode. Join us next time where we're going to start the preview of the NFL season. Peace.